Hey guys, what's going on? This is Apple Investigator here once again, this time to bring you another video about the iPhone 5S, but this one is going to be a little bit interesting. In this video, we're going to be doing a massive benchmarking comparison between the iPhone 5S, the iPad 4th generation, the iPad mini, and the iPod Touch 5th generation. Now here I'm just showing you guys that I have closed all the applications that I have open. The only app that is running in the background is your home screen and it's not possible to close that. So the reason why I want to do this video is to test out that A7 processor. I'm going to be using Geekbench and I wanted to, to compare it to all the other current generation devices in the different categories. So the iPad 4 is the best full size iPad at the moment. The iPod Touch 5th generation is the best iPod Touch and the iPad mini is the one and only iPad mini right now. Now all four of these devices are lightning devices and all four of them are dual core. The only difference is that the iPhone 5S has got that 64-bit architecture in there so you're going to get some really high scores I'm expecting from that A7 processor. As you guys probably saw from the window, all these devices are running the latest version of iOS, that is iOS 7. Um, and we are now into Geekbench running all four apps and we did our very best to launch them all at the same time as well. So it looks like now we have our winner of the first place. It is the iPhone 5S at 34 seconds into its test. It got 1395 on the single core and 2489 on the multi-core test. Now coming in just 26 seconds after that really fast iPhone 5S, the iPad 4th generation has placed second with a single core score of 780 and a multi-core score of 1430. Waiting now for our next result, it looks like we now have the iPad mini coming in third place and it finished with a score of 262 for the single core and 497 for the multi-core assessment. Now the iPad mini took 2 minutes and 38 seconds. Now much slower than our first two competitors for our first and second place 5S and iPad 4th generation. Finally, last but not least, our final device, the iPod Touch 5th generation, finished with a score of 213 on the single core and 399 on the multi-core with a time of 3 minutes and 18 seconds. So those were the benchmarks from our four devices, guys, and the iPhone 5S was our clear winner. So taking in our final results, it was very clear that the iPhone 5S has a very powerful processor on board with that 64-bit desktop class architecture that they call A7. It's got two times the floating point registers, over one billion transistors, and it's got just a lot of power to handle all the load and processing that the iPhone 5S needs. I hope you guys did enjoy this massive comparison of all these devices. If you did, please be sure to drop a like down below, it helps me out a ton, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content on the iPhone 5S. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in my next video.